second second time at the show, guys, at the Three Rivers Festival. Got some subscribers to come out and see me, and they have their own channel, guys. This this is Adventure in the Heartlands. Hi. <laughs> uh, what'd you say? A hundred and. 160. 160 subscribers so far, and they've been updating for about a year. Is that right? Yeah. About a year. All right. So you said you brought something? Oh yeah. Oh, let's get a video of the unboxing here. What, what did you bring? Stuff to try. Oh my goodness. Buffalo blue cheese. Buffalo, cheese buffalo puffs. blue cheese cheese puffs. Okay, so the flavor of the buffalo and the blue cheese is on these cheese puffs. Uh, yeah. And. Wow. These wow. are awesome. I love these. Grilled cheese and tomato soup. Tomato soup. <laughs> Flavored cheese puffs. Where did you find this stuff? Uh, they sell them at a gas station in our town. Wow. And it's made by hers. So it's not yeah. like it's made by Frida Lay or anything. Oh, cool. You have something to try. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and something cool for Nestor. Organically grown fresh catnip. Oh boy, he is going to love you guys. I'm going to stuff this in the belly of his uh, his little mouse that oh he, he likes. Yeah, yeah. Go crazy over it. My he, cats love it. He's going to be bouncing off the walls. <laughs> you guys, come on in. Let's get a drawing for you guys. Yeah, we want to do it. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and here we are, guys. Adventure in the Heartland. Their picture, their picture is done. Going for the reveal now. They're both smiling, that's good. Awesome. <laughs> okay, they're over there still taking in the whole the whole caricature thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and try the blue cheese buffalo. What's that? Huh. Here we go. Blue cheese buffalo. Do you guys wanna try one too? I wanna try the blue cheese buffalo. I'm tasting the buffalo, I'm not tasting the blue cheese. Oh, that's the blue cheese. Blue cheese is very faint there. Uh -huh. yeah. If at all. Yeah, not a real good job on no, that one. No. Uh -huh. no. Alright. Now we're gonna try the tomato soup. Does this indeed taste like tomato soup? <laughs> tomato soup. Yeah. That was definitely there. Yeah. Wow. And those are really good. Uh huh. <laughs> tomato soup. Real cheese sandwiches go really good with tomato soup. So, That's one of her favorites. That's my um, favorite. Good combination. Oh, you've had this before then? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they are very good. All right. Uh, so, thank you, Adventure in the Heartland, for coming out and see me. Sure on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put their links in the description as well. So, you guys go and. Uh, Go and subscribe to these guys, too. <laughs> they deserve a lot more than just the less than 200 subscribers they got now. You're already smelling it, huh? Already smelling it. Well, we're back in the camper now, and uh, I wanted to see what Nestor thought of this fresh, organically grown catnip. Let's see. What do you think? You like that, huh? I bet you do. I'm going to wad it up real good and stuff it in the, the stomach of his favorite little, I think this is a chickmunk, and um, see if he likes that. All right, there we go. I even got a second stalk of it wadded up in there. Get the Velcro to close up. There we go. All right, little buddy, what do you think? Oh, you are really enjoying that, uh, that catnap there, aren't you, Nestor? You don't want to let it go. 
Oh, are you bringing it to me? You want me to throw it for you? Yeah, go fetch. This storm drove us away from the pool, and it uh, was not on the radar before we came to the pool. We That's saw we saw some dark clouds in the in the distance. Ten minutes later, they told everybody to leave the pool because there was lightning. Five minutes after that, this is what you got. I'm glad you're the one driving right now. I would not want to have to deal with the responsibility of this. Us, there's a like a lot of water on the road. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's just washing it? across yeah. the road right here. It's, this is it, definitely a flash flood situation. Yeah. We're gonna go check on the tent. Look! Look at that! Look at all the water they're driving uh -huh. right there. Wow. Man, and we thought we were done with this. We thought yesterday, or yeah. we thought Tuesday, it was just gonna be on Tuesday. There was nothing. Nothing. It said zero percent all day today. Yeah. They and, were wrong. And then this happened. On a positive note, I do have a backup tent if we need one. We have backup supplies. <laughs> I do, actually. Oh, yeah? Um, no, actually, I, I did leave all the mats out there. I did leave That's them. what I'm thinking about. Yeah. And now it's been, what has it been? Seven, eight minutes since yeah. that last one? And we went and checked on, the, checked on the tent back there and had to rescue the mats, but now it has stopped. It's just like, I think I'm going to rain today. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'll just freak look you at, out. Look, look at this. Look at this lake that we're about to drive through here to get back out to the road. Oh my goodness. Ah! Oh goodness. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, as you can see, that's that's the tent right there, and it's it's uh. It survived just fine. This henna tattooed people next to us right there, uh, they didn't have the pool noodles in the corner. So they got water pockets and the top of their tent collapsed. And there the army go. lost their tent. The army, the yeah. army guys, yeah, the army recruiters had a, a 10 by 10 out there that they didn't even put weights on and it got flipped all the way over. Oh, the international village. It's, oh, it's, um, not, it's not completely done. It's not done yet. No, but they lost tons. Did they lose some tents? Yeah. They lost some tents last year too. I really hope they don't stop doing it. Oh yeah, look oh, at that they one. They lost a lot of tents. Oh my goodness. Oh. There's another one right there. That's they lost all their work done. Yeah, I, you got to put something in the corners, or you're going to get water pockets. We've got somebody with the old Spice commercials <laughs> guy <laughs> on his socks. Hi guys. <laughs> on his socks. <laughs> 
<laughs> got a tiny little dog here that is smaller than Nuster. You're, you're smaller. My my kitty cat outweighs this full-grown dog here. This little girl. Very cute. Oh, you're smelling Nestor there, aren't you? I don't have any treats. Sorry. Come on. Might be the last one of the night. Just maybe. Hey, here. Oh, it's fine. The final day of the Three Rivers Festival is over. We are breaking down. July the 20th, 2019. Saturday. We're right about midnight now, so it's time to get all of this into here. Well, the breakdown is not completely done. We're almost there. But Lowe has helped me get the tent broke down, sandbags put up, a lot of it, uh, pretty much everything that requires two people. And she has got a tight schedule. <laughs> you want to tell them about it? Oh gosh, yeah. I have to drive home to Rochester. I'm there for two days, then I go to New York City for two days, back home to Rochester, then out to Ohio. So how many hours of driving is Tw that? 29 hours of driving total. In, in three days, right? <laughs> So I think it's fair to go ahead and let her go ahead and hit the road. So this is goodbye to Lo for at least the next few days until we meet up again at, the Ohio. at the Ohio State <laughs> Fair. First time I've done it in four years. <laughs> now you're with the right team. <laughs> so let's give her a little side hug. Say goodbye to Lo. Thank you so much, Lo, for all of your help Thank you for during having this me. crazy, crazy Three Rivers <laughs> Festival. Okay. 12.45 now. And we are done.